Russia promises to respond harshly to an unprecedented international rebuke. More than 20 countries announced yesterday they are expelling Russian diplomats. The U.S. ordered 60 Russians to leave and will close the Russian consulate in Seattle. The coordinated action is in response to Russia's alleged use of a nerve, nerve agent to poison former spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter in Britain. Charlie Daggett is in Moscow with Russia's reaction. Charlie Good morning. Good morning. Well, in addition to expulsions, the Russians are considering which U.S. consulate to close here. That's after the Trump administration shut down Russia's consulate in Seattle, blaming diplomats there of being intelligence officers so close to the U.S. naval base and Boeing headquarters. It's fast becoming the most serious diplomatic crisis since the Cold War. Unprecedented numbers and an unexpectedly hard line from a Trump administration that's been reluctant to square off against President Vladimir Putin. A show of solidarity for Britain after the assassination attempt of former double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter in Salisbury, England three weeks ago. Retaliation for what British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson called an unacceptable pattern of behavior from Russia. It manifests itself across the globe, uh, from Syria to, to Salisbury, and people have had enough of it. A statement seen as retribution for a litany of Russian transgressions against the West. Annexing Crimea, the ongoing military conflict with Ukraine, suspected meddling in foreign elections, President Putin's boasts of new nuclear weapons capable of striking the U.S. Former U.S. Ambassador to Russia Bill Burns says President Trump's tougher stance signals a major shift in tactics. It seems to me it's the end of an illusion, in a sense, the illusion under which President Trump seems to have operated for a while, the illusion that you could do some kind of a grand bargain with Putin's Russia. This morning, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov condemned the expulsions as a small group of countries giving in to blackmail. That's the Washington's tools and instruments of work. This morning, Foreign Minister Lavrov said there should be no doubt that Russia will respond, saying no one would put up with such thuggish behavior, and Russia certainly won't. Gail? Thank you very much, Charlie Daggett, reporting from Moscow.